When I first arrived in Hong Kong, I definitely did not know anyone. I knew one guy. Um, he was a friend, a uh, childhood friend. Uh, well, I, I knew like two people from my home university back in Germany. Um, but in Hong Kong, I didn't know any people. You really throw yourself in at the deep end. You leave your comfortable university at home where you've, where you've known uh, friends for years. I came all by myself, didn't know anyone here. Well, the first thing I did was like doing like a dumpling making event, and then I like hikes to the peak. Uh, we did a lot of beach trips, hiking, camping, junk boat parties, and all that stuff. So, within the first three or four weeks, I met tons of new people. What were my impressions? I mean, I had been here before, so nothing surprised me. But I had never seen the side of Hong Kong that was local. I came here as a tourist. I had no idea that I could be in the city like this and then half an hour on a boat or, or an hour on a bus and I'll be striving through the, through the wilderness of um, Sai Kung or Sai Wan or something like that. Enjoy the good weather before you, we went bad and went to, uh, went to the beach. Uh, like, so a bit of uh, the other part of Hong Kong. My favorite thing to do is go to bakeries. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, like every time I see a bakery or a dim sum spot, those are my two rules. I always, always wonder in whether I'm alone or not. Try and learn a new language, I have to admit I've been too successful with that one. I have to know how to say thank you in Chinese. Oh, yeah? And how do you say that? Um, mgoi. Mgoi. Um, almost there, like say it again. Mgoi. Mgoi. Yeah, like mgoi. Mm Great. And it was really easy just to like post things, hey, today I'm gonna go do this, does anyone want to come? And through like that way you just met a lot of people. Of course rugby. So I joined that, had never played before, uh, and did that for the first time ever. I made friends with the girls straight away, they took me out for dinner. And also like I did the, the reading week program to North Korea which was absolutely amazing, it was one of the interesting weeks, most interesting weeks in my entire life. I went to Philippines for nothing. I went I went to China last week. It was really nice, especially because I'm learning Mandarin here. Um, I went to Vietnam. I've been to Thailand, which was a great 10 days. I went to Thailand and I'm hoping to go in Cambodia soon. So I've been on a few trips, uh, Vietnam. During reading week, I went to India, Vietnam. No, sorry, not Vietnam. I went to Thailand and Cambodia, Macau, and I've been to Shenzhen. And of course, we've got Seoul next week. So the travel is just full on crazy. No matter how many people you've met, you can never meet enough. Um, at the beginning, I had like a certain group of people and it's just like grown ever since. I mean, I, I think I was a bit surprised as to how, how close you become in just like one year. I've got friends all over the world now and friends that I would count as lifelong friends. I think that's the great thing about being on exchange. You meet a variety of people that all have something different to offer and that's what I'm so grateful for. You discover there's that even if you don't have the same culture, you can be friends with people from all around the world. That's really amazing to have like a, a network all around the world. That's pretty cool.